Very good. You've got a lot of lot of clothes. I'm doing a little video as well, if you don't mind. Hello, buddy. Happy birthday. Yeah. Spent the last two hours in Ed Perkins' store. Um, it's mountains full of clothes. We've picked a load of high quality pieces from Nike, Adidas. We're now gonna count it all up, bail it all up, price it all, and take it home. All right, so this is what we've just gone through. This is everything that we, that we want. We're gonna go through this now, check all the stains, and then we're gonna price it up. Ed's taking all the clothes home. We're gonna sort this all out, sort all the clothing out tomorrow. The next step is now to start screen printing and getting my designs onto those screens. Stay tuned. It is lockdown part two, second lockdown. Boris has announced that we're going to lockdown for another month. So that's all of November. So Millie and I have decided to, rather than stay in London, come down and stay in the countryside for the month, which is beautiful. The first rework capsule um, was actually done in lockdown, um, which is quite nice. So second lockdown, second rework capsule. Dad's upgraded the shed. We got some walls on, got some insulation in the roof and behind those walls. I've now finally bought a dryer with the money that I made from the last rework capsule. So this is gonna speed up the process by 5,000%. Let's build this heat dryer. Now all I've got to do is attach this to the top of that. This heat dryer also comes with this little thing, which I'll show you what it does. So you attach it on the top of this and then it acts as like a handle because it's on wheels. Say my t-shirts are here, I can just pull it over, dry, pull it off, dry, don't dry, dry, don't dry, dry. So all the graphics I'm doing in this project are all gonna fit nicely with whatever I'm printing on. So if it's a champion sweatshirt with a bit of embroidery, a bit of, a bit of print already on, I'm gonna print my graphic over the top. It will either match it and look really nice or it'll look like a sort of graffiti on the top of the piece, which I think looks good either way. This video I'm upgrading and I've decided I'm gonna make this, which I've quickly drawn out. The light will sit there and then the frames will go underneath. It will be a makeshift exposure unit, which will hopefully work. So Mill's gonna do a uni work whilst I build this. 24, 24, 20, 18, 10. I'm using these three inch screws to put these together. So this is the final product. So you've got the lamp on here, this is a thousand watt lamp. I've got my sponge, black t-shirt around it. It's the frame. This was a two minute exposure time, 1000 watt halogen lamp. The 
So this is the setup we got going. Got the dryer on top. This is the press that I made in the last video. I'm gonna put all my inks here. And then we've got all the design screens sitting here. Tomorrow, Ed's gonna come round. He's got all the clothing that we're gonna print on. We're gonna stay in the shed all weekend, screen printing. actually did a little bit of printing last night, covered about 20 sweatshirts and we're doing white ink on dark garments. We're doing the foot blocks design. Sarah's over here, she's doing some tote bags. This is a little mock-up of what's going to come. Um, over here we've got the designs, we've got one more over there. These are all the pieces that we're going to be printing on. These are all the pieces that we printed on. This is a red champion. We've printed, flashed and then printed again so you've got two layers to get those whites to really pop. But yeah, it gets a little bit dark at about 4.30, so we have to turn on this light. About to bring in another lamp, so it gets quite cosy in here with the yellow lighting. I'm curing that to 170 degrees so the ink sticks to the sweatshirt. And I'm using, check the temp, 176, take that off. And this is the finished product. This is a massive XL NFL Saints football with our Blocks logo. We're gonna do a print on the back, but that's still to come. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. Hundred thousand in the safe, couple thousand in the drain. In the drain. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. No, I'm always on my grind, 24 for seven days. Favorite color, money green. Paper, I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh grade. Got my first kid, I was only 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. But you won't find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator, I can wear it cause it kinda lot. Always on my cab around that paper like a Michael Scott. Your boyfriend is Dwight, he want my spot, he always run a lot. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. Hundred thousand in the safe, couple thousand in the jeans. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. No, I'm always on my grind, 24 for seven days. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. Get paid, yeah, yeah, yeah. get the money, yeah. yeah. Get paid, little shorty, get paid Get paid, yeah, yeah, get the money, yeah Yeah, I'll just stack it up and save it up and save. Never be a day I blow a hundred for a train No, 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 no I drop a hundred for a crane Build a whole block and make these are some of the clothes we've done. Um, we've put them in different piles because each pile has a different design on. Um, I'm just gonna quickly take you through some of the designs we've done. Champion sweatshirt. So this is actually embroidered. We tested it and managed to actually print our plastisol ink over the embroidery um, and it's come out quite well. So this is an old surfing club sweatshirt. I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s. We've got the design on the front over the top and then we've got the design on the back. Another thick heavyweight champion sweatshirt. Studio blocks as well. Extra small but fits a medium. It's a champion eco fleece, MIT. Two graphics on the front, nothing on the back just yet. These are all second hand um, and we're reworking, so there will be, there can sometimes be some marks. USA sweatshirt, two designs on the front, plain on the back. This is a blank champion hood, a nice blue. This is the first one we actually printed over the pocket um, and it's come out pretty well. It's slightly thicker in some bits. However, that is the pocket that you're gonna be using. We've got this massive, this is proper thick, Detroit football. We've got the studio blocks in the front. There's a heavyweight Reebok. And then we've got the text on the back, which I think goes really well, that blue. Sportswear sweatshirt. I didn't want to print on this because I liked it so much. But we've done the small studio blocks logo on the front and we're gonna print a lot on the back. Starter sweatshirt, which uh, they're really well known for their heavyweight heavyweight sweatshirts. We've got the studio blocks next to their logo. And then we've got our two designs in the front. We've got a navy, actually I think it's faded black, champion sweatshirt. Simple center logo in the middle. Okay. Yo, so it is nine, that is 8.30 a.m. I'm on the way to work to work. And then after work, David, my boss, Shout out David has very kindly let me photograph all the clothing in his studio. What that means is I'm going in with 
a hundred pieces of clothing which is sitting behind me. I bought an ironing board, an iron. I basically am going to be there. I think it's going to take me about two evenings to photograph, to iron, photograph and edit all of these photos. Probably till about midnight if I finish work at about 5.36. Yeah, a lot of work going into this. So I was getting really tired and I gave Millie and Red a text to come help me photograph. They've come down. We've got Millie on the iron. We've got Red photographing, shooting the tags so I don't have to get close-ups using that camera. But we're nearly done. We've, we've got those are done. That's still to be done. Mills iron those. Nearly done. Finished. So all we've got left is to do this. Then I've got to upload them to the website and then they go live Sunday. So rather than standing up on the table and taking a photo manually, I'm using my phone and then it takes a photo. We have finally finished photographing everything. I've now got to go home Photoshop everything. Mills ironed. For three hours. For three hours. Red. I was just trying bare clothes in that store. <laughs> I've got to try and put all of these into a bag and try and keep them all in order so I can write down all the sizes for when I put them on the website. So I'm back home now and I've just spent the last three hours editing the photos I took of the clothing. I've had to change the lighting, then cut them out and stick them onto a greyish white background for the website so they look slick. Here's a little sneak preview. I've now got to go through them all, check the sizes and then upload them to the website. The website I've built from scratch, I've been using Webflow and it's kind of visually coding rather than having to do all the coding yourself, you visually do it. Um, and this is what it looks like so far. It's now the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you want to buy something from Blocks, go to this link here, studioblocks.co. To keep updated, uh, check out studio.blocks, which can go here. And also, to keep even more updated, go to my Instagram page, which I'll put just here. If you don't buy from us, please support small, independent, local businesses this Christmas, just because they need it the most. And Jeff Bezos can. I should really be pricing these sweatshirts and hoodies a little bit higher for the amount of work I've put in and the hours I've put in. But I'm not going to, because I'm doing this for fun, and it's, it's all good. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.